Hi everyone, my name is Naman and today we will learn how to create a jumping game in Scratch. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create a game like this one, in which the character will jump over the moving obstacles. So we will create this game in 4 steps. First, make the jumping character, make the moving obstacle, stop the game, fourth, keep the score. So let's get started. Step 1. Choose any character and make it jump. So you can choose any character you want. I will choose the check. Also, I will add a backdrop, blue sky. Now, in order to make the check jump upwards, I will use change y by 10 block. Now, I want this to happen 10 times. So I will use the repeat loop. Also, I want this check to come back down. So to do so, I will use change y by negative of 10. Again, I will use the repeat loop. Nice. Now, I want this to happen when I press my spacebar key in the keyboard. So for this, I will use when space key pressed block. Also, to make it more fun, I will add a sound block. Nice. So now let's make the moving obstacle. Let's choose the obstacle first. For this, I will choose an egg. Now, let's decrease the size of this egg so that our character can jump over it. Now, I want this egg to start from this position and it should glide over the screen and it should come here at the ending position. Now, let's do the step one. So, to bring this egg to the starting position, we will use go to x, y block. So, on this stage, every point has a specific number for x and y. X represents the horizontal axis while Y represents the vertical axis. So to get the coordinates of X and Y for the starting position, we will bring this egg at the starting position. Now as you can see, my X and Y coordinates have automatically updated inside the block. So I will bring this block here. Now I want to glide this egg over the screen. In order to do so, I will use glide 1 seconds to X, Y block. Let's find the coordinates of X and Y of the ending position. So my coordinates of X and Y have automatically updated in this block. Now I will bring this block and merge with it. Nice. Now this is happening only once, but I want the X to come continuously. In order to do so, I will use a forever loop. Nice. Now this should start when the green flag is clicked. Nice. So now the next step is to stop the game when the check hits the egg. So in order to do so, we will use stop all block. So this block stops everything in the project. Also, we have to wait until the egg touches the check. So let's start this when the green flag is clicked. Now here is one problem, when we will rerun this game, the starting position of the check will change. So in order to avoid this, we will set the starting position of the check. So to do so, we will use the motion blocks, go to x, y block. So let's update the x and the y block. So the coordinates of x and y has set. So now we will use this go to x, y block and we will run it when the green flag is clicked. Yeah, so this looks fine. Now, the last step is to add a score so that the player can earn points. So, in order to do so, we have to create a variable. In Scratch, you can create a variable and keep a track of a number. So, let's make a variable score. So, now I want to change my score if the player has successfully jumped over the egg. So, I will use change my variable by 1. So, here, instead of my variable, I will choose score. So, let's... So my score is increasing by 1 if I successfully jump over it. Now I want to reset the score when I will rerun the game. So in order to do so, I will set my score to 0 whenever I will rerun this game.
So there you go, we have successfully created the jumping game in scratch. Now it's your turn to extend it, add more obstacles, levels or even power ups. Let your creativity shine. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you like this video and hit that subscribe button for more fun and exciting projects. Also, don't forget to share your creations in the comments. I would love to see what you built. So, I will see you in the next video. Till then, happy coding!